On the afternoon of October 1st, 2022, Montgomery County Fire and Rescue Units were dispatched to a residence in Gaithersburg for the report of a patient in cardiac arrest. Upon arrival to the scene, Cruz found the patient laying on the ground with her husband by her side. The patient's husband stated that he had heard the patient moan and came into the room to check on her and found her unresponsive. Upon assessment of the patient, Cruz found her to be pulseless and apneic. High performance CPR was initiated, ventilations were assisted via back valve mask, and the patient was placed on the cardiac monitor. The patient's initial cardiac rhythm was V-fib. The patient was defibrillated, vascular access was obtained via an IO, and medications were administered. The patient was defibrillated twice more and attained ROSC, ROSC, after approximately 10 minutes. The crews worked together to obtain vitals and a 12 lead, which was transmitted to Shady Grove Medical Center. As the crew was attempting to stabilize and package the patient for transport, she lost her pulse again. High performance CPR was resumed and the patient was defibrillated for a fourth time. The patient once again uh, regained her pulses with a palpable uh, carotid pulse and an amiodarone drip was prepared and administered to the patient. The patient was also innovated for airway protection. En route to Shady Grove Medical Center, a consultation was performed via EMRC and the patient's condition was monitored. As the unit was transferring the patient, she began to have spontaneous respirations and began to buck the tube. Crews administered Versed to sedate the patient and assist with the airway protection. Upon arrival to the hospital, patient care was transferred to the emergency department staff. The patient was stabilized and there moved to the intensive care unit where her condition continued to improve. The patient was eventually transferred to Washington Hospital Center where she had an uh, AICD placed. Thanks to the knowledge, skills, and teamwork of the crews involved, the patient was discharged to home, neurologically intact with no deficits.